In this video, we're going to solve optimization problems in a business or economics context. It says, owners of a canoe rental company that charges customers between $8 and $31 per day have determined that the number of ca canoes rented per day n can be modeled by the linear function n of p equals 155 minus 5 times p, where p is the daily rental charge. What is the maximum daily revenue? Round your answer to the nearest cent. So we know that they're going to charge. So P is the daily rental charge. And it says owners of the company of the rental company that charges customers between $8 and $31 per day have determined. Okay, so P is going to have to be between 8 and 31 because they want to charge customers between 8 and $31 per day, which tells us that uh, we're going to have to find, we're going to have to maximize daily revenue, which means we have to get an equation for revenue, and then we have to incorporate this number of canoes rented per day because that's what N of P stands for is the number of canoes rented per day per day. So we're going to say that the revenue is going to equal the number of canoes times the price P. So N times P. Right, or the daily rental charge, right? So this is the price. Well, we can substitute this N for the actual number or the actual expression for the number of canoes rented. So we can say that R is equal to 155 minus 5p when I substitute it in right here, and it's times p. So this is the number of canoes rented, and it'll be times the price. So then we can say that r is equal to 155p minus 5p squared. And then we can actually find the derivative because we're trying to maximize the revenue. So we want to find the derivative and use that first derivative uh, test here. So we're going to say r prime is equal to 155 minus 10p. And then we set this equal to 0. And we have 155 minus 10p. We're trying to find our critical values. We subtract the 155, so it's negative 155 is equal to negative 10p. And we divide by negative 10 on each side. And it tells us our price needs to be $15.5. So $15.50 for our rental price. Now, we want to make sure that that actually maximizes the revenue. So here's what we do. We want to test this point because we know this is a critical point, And it's the only one inside of this uh, this bounded region. So based on the um, based on the theorems that we've talked about, uh, the extreme value theorem, uh, this would be this price would be the uh, maximum price that we would charge to maximize our re revenue. Now, we still need to test the endpoints though to make sure that that's true. So we're going to say P of, nope, not P. We're going to say R of 8 is going to equal something. R of 1550 is going to equal something. And we got to figure out which one of these maximizes the revenue. R of 31. So we use this equation, which R, the R equation for R was 155P minus 5P squared. And so we're going to plug in 8 to into the equation 15.5 and 31. I'm going to use a calculator to do this. So we're going to say 155x minus 5x squared. And then we're going to store 8 as x. That's 920. And then we're going to do 15.5 stored as x. 
that's going to be one thousand two hundred and one dollars twenty five cents then we'll do the thirty one that's zero dollars so our max revenue is going to be twelve hundred and one dollars and twenty five cents